Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set is based on pie chart. It says that Spandan has invested his money in six different mutual funds. And uh, this pie chart, it is drawn to scale. Okay, so that means that uh, like if you, if you find that this portion is bigger than this, so this value will be bigger than this. This value looks smaller than this, so this will be less than this value, right? So although the numberings are not given, you can measure it by looking at it. The names of the funds are disguised as M1 to M6. So these are disguised. They are not straight away written. And it is also given that he invested 3 lakhs less in BNP than in Canada, but invested more in BNP as compared to Edelweiss. So, uh, Canada is more than BNP greater than Edelweiss. Okay. 3 lakhs less in BNP than in Canada. So, Canada will be B plus 3. Uh, then we are given the amount uh, invested in M4 is less than that invested in M3. So M4 is less than M3. So that means this would be less than 45 degree. Okay. Now, if we see this part, this part is more than 90 degree, this complete part. This is less than 45. So this will be more than 45 degree. Okay. The amount invested by him in DSP equals the amount invested by him in two other funds in each of which he invested equally. Now this is less than 45, this is greater than 45, this is definitely close to 90, right? But uh, so the only two equal parts that we have is this. So DSP is equal to amount equal distributed in two other funds. So that means this is DSP. So we will keep marking the funds as well. Uh, the difference between the highest amount that he invested in any fund and the lowest amount that he invested in any fund is 11 lakhs. So this is the lowest and this is the highest. So the difference is of 11 lakhs. He invested 6 lakhs less in Franklin than in BNP. So BNP is more than Franklin also. And let us say that uh, this is BNP minus 6. Okay. Now we know that this is the least one and we have to figure out that which can be the two equal ones in all these information. So that is the only information given to us. Now how will we proceed in this case is, see, we know that Canara is more than three other funds at least. So Canara has to have three values le less than this. Okay. So suppose we assume that this is Canara. Okay. If this is Canara, so we just have two values less than it because these are equal values and these have to be three distinct values. Okay. So we do not have three different values less than this. So obviously this becomes our Canara. Okay. Now uh, BNP is greater than two different values, right? So it can be same also. They can be same also, but BNP is more than at least two of the values, right? So BNP cannot be this because if BNP is this, it is greater than only one value. So this will be BNP. Okay, and this obviously is looking more than this. So, so Canara BNP have been identified. So now we are left with two values, right? Uh, like this is, uh, like one is Franklin. Okay, we have a relation between Franklin. So let us say Franklin is F. So that means BNP will be equal to F plus 6 and Canara will be equal to F plus 9, 3 more added. Okay, so let us do one thing. Let us assume that this one is Franklin. Okay, let us assume this one is Franklin. So this value will be F. This value will also be F. This will be F plus 6. This will be F plus 9. Okay, now we do not know this value. Let us put this value as X. So this value will be X plus 11. Okay, because it is given that lowest minus highest is 11 lakh. Now, if we see this, this is exactly 180 degree. This is also 180 degree. So this total should be equal to this total. So that means 2F plus 15 plus X should be equal to 2F plus X plus 11. Not possible. Not equating right unable to equal so this means that f is not this f is this now we'll just change it so this is franklin if this is f this will be f plus 11 
Now let us assume that these values are x and x. Okay, since these are equal, so we will just equate both the sides. We will get three f plus fifteen, and this will be equal to f plus eleven plus two x. Okay, so if you find the relation, this gives us x is equal to two uh, f plus four is two x, so f plus two. Right, so that is the equation that is given to us. So this means these are f plus. Right now, how to find the value of f? Now see this. This is forty-five degree. That is one eighth of the pie chart. Right, so or you can call it like ninety degree, one fourth of the pie chart. You can just uh, like equate it. Right, so that means uh, this plus this should be equal to this forty-five, forty-five degree, ninety degree. So two f plus four is equal to f plus eleven. Okay, so this means that f is equal to seven. So we get these values. This will be nine. This will be nine. This will be seven. And uh, this is thirteen. Uh, and this is sixteen. And this is eighteen. So just adding that is thirty-six and thirty-six. Seventy-two lakhs is the total investment. Okay. Next question: Which of the following is one of the two funds in which he uh, invested equally? Acha, we have to write these names also. So this is this was Frank uh, Franklin. So the remaining two are uh, <coughs> Excel X's and Edelweiss. So these are A and E in any order. That is not known to us, right? So Edelweiss is the answer to this question. How much amount he invested uh, in Franklin? That is seven lakhs. What is the ratio of amounts invested by him, Canara and BNP? Sixteen ratio, thirteen. So that is uh, the solution to this set. I hope you loved solving this wonderful set. So don't forget to like the video.